I didn't know. I mean, I read. I read that you you just start from when well when you was were uh, three years old. Could be yeah, three, three years old. Yeah. So really I like to draw since I was a little kid, and my parents are uh, they're very very supportive. So um, since I was three years old, um, they sent me to you know some of the art hobby school and study art. So I remember I every Saturday Sunday. They sent me to you know some of the art hobby studio, so I can I start drawing since I was like you know three to five years old. So I remember it's very very young. Okay, that's that's incredible because I mean having these parents just to support you, support you on 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 art because not yeah yeah you know that not every yeah. family wants that. I mean it's difficult sometimes. Yeah, it's very, I'm really, really thankful for that opportunity. I mean, I could have be a, you know, do something else, but I'm, 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 I'm thankful that my parents, you know, recognize my, my skills, my talent, so allow me to go to the, you know, studio, you know, mm -hmm. since I was, you know, at a local art studio since I was a, you know, three to five years old. So I'm really, really thankful for the, you know, opportunity they have given me. Wow. Yeah. And uh, do, do you remember how, how you were like uh, as a student? Sorry, that's my phone. <laughs> no, that's fine. So when I was a student, um, I remember I, I remember I, that's no internet. Yeah. So that's not, um, I went to school, um, professional school in the 1990, um, 1990s. That's no internet at that time. That's no cell yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you ask me, how was it when I was a student? I, I think I prefer that time that's no cell phone, no internet. I can focus on my drawing. I can, um, I focused on my, you know, art education, just do the homework, you know, do the homework, no internet, just TV, radio. Yeah. But I think the world was simpler, more easier compared to, I mean, internet is good, but I think I, I, I prefer something more like, you know, easier study time instead of like, you know, nowadays there's so many social media, so many different um, distractions. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me, I prefer, you know, the, the older time era. And how, how do you, get, I mean, find the, the uh, a school where you can, I mean, what they can teach you uh, classical uh, drawing because it's not that easy. I mean, so I did my research. Um, I did my research. I, you know, I went to a library and researched mm -hmm. um, what is the art school in San Francisco or in California. So that is only two major art school in San Francisco, um, Academy of Art University and then um, 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 California College on Arts and Craft, CCAC. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to the library and I did some research. Mm -hmm. And I also went to the school and do the research as well. So I think it's very, very important for the student. They, you know, they have to do the research. They cannot just wait for, for other people to tell them, oh, which school you should apply. That's no such a thing. So, because, you know, this is, you know, the student's future. And yeah. who knows that which school is the best. So you have to, you know, um, go to a library and now we have internet and, you know, do your part and do the research. Because that, that is many, many schools out there to offer art education. Same thing like art teachers. Mm -hmm. There's so many amazing, brilliant art teachers out there. So who else, who knows, you know, those are the techniques that you're interested in. So I would highly recommend students, they have to do that part as well. Okay, I see, I see. And uh, do you remember what was the hardest thing you, you I mean, you, you learned? That you you try to to do. I mean, in drawing or painting, I don't know if it was easy for you. Everything. No, every everything was difficult because I have to, as a student, um, I have to learn everything. I have to learn all kind of like medium. So of course, start with the uh, figure drawing, charcoal pencil, you know, dry medium first, and then from dry medium to something, you know, watercolor, acrylic, oil. Of yeah. course, as a student, you have to learn so many different things. And of course, it's very, very difficult because, you know, you, you only have one semester to learn 
watercolor, and then you have another semester to learn acrylic, and then you have another semester to learn oil. And it was like very, very intensive training in four years program. Sometimes, you know, I find it is overwhelming because you cannot hand, you know, you just starting lighting, doing watercolor and all of a sudden you have to switch from watercolor to acrylic and then from acrylic to oil because every um, art uh, medium, they have different characteristics. So it was challenging, but it also was rewarding because mm -hmm. at the end of the four years program, you learn so many different techniques in a short period of time. So then you will yeah. find out which one works best, uh, what best for you. Thank you. So I think it's, you know, that is no substitute for real experience. So I do encourage your student, try it, try it, you know, see you like it. But try it one time, of course, you don't like it. The second time, perhaps you will have a little bit more better experience, you know, using that medium. So, of course, you know, if you are frustrating, you learning something new technique, be open-minded because I think, you know, just give yourself some time to learn something new. Okay, I see. And, um, uh, I mean, since you finished your training uh, or until today, uh, what thing have you have you done uh, that help you to be where you are now? I mean, in your career, what kind of this decision have you take or? Um, I think that's a lot of like decision need to be made every day in our life. You know, just like you know, just like driving, you have to make a decision which road you need to take. So, decision. I think, I think making a decision, you have to do a lot of research, like, you know, you have to do the research and find your school. That is a decision as well. Once you find a school, you have to make a decision, what major, you know, illustration, fine art, fashion, you know, there's so many decisions that need to be made by the artist. So of course, my suggestion for the student before you make a decision, this is your responsibility to do research. Like, you know, you make a decision on the school and then you make a decision what major you're gonna pick and then you make a decision what classes you're gonna take. And, and then you also need to make a decision who are the teacher you want to learn from. So I think I often encourage a student, you know, to do more research because, you know, this is, this is a student art education. You know, it works for me. That doesn't work. That, that doesn't mean it works for everybody. Yeah. You know, I picked that school. That doesn't mean it's the school for everybody. So it depends on where you are as well. And I also believe that, you know, learning art, it takes a, a long time. It's not like just takes like four years. Four years, you learn the basic rules and then you yeah. need to continue developing it. So art, it takes a lifetime, you know. To, you know, to become who I am. And I wouldn't say it only takes a like, um, couple years, four years program is not gonna do, you know, good enough. Student always ask me, oh, how long did you spend on each drawing? Maybe each drawing took me like um, two hours, but mm -hmm. it's actually, it's a 40, 40 years experience, you know, for, from that two hour demonstration. Mm 